Hi, my name is Sam, and in this video, we're going to go over how to save a project in Abizo. So to start out, let's actually first go over what a project is. So a project contains all the necessary information for Abizo to know like where your camera position is, what transformations you apply, all the modules you used, all the data you created, and allow you to come back to a project where you left off previously. So to save an Aviso project, you go up to File, Save Project, just like that. So there are two separate options in how you could save a project. You, so you can either choose the minimize project size or the minimize project computation. Each of these has benefits and drawbacks. So in minimize project size, only the necessary data is saved to the disk. So any data that can be computed will just be computed at the time when you reload the project, when you load the project into Aviso. So this means if you've added a bunch of image transforms that take a lot of computational power, every time you load the project in, you'll have to do that computation over again. On the other hand, minimize project computation, all the data is saved to the disk, so no computation is necessary when you reload the project. But this takes significantly more storage on your disks. So we're going to choose minimize project computation in this example, and then we're going to save this project as test project, just like this. So this dialog box pops up and what this means is all these objects need to be saved in order to be able to reconstruct the projects in the future. So you can either choose to save each of these files individually just by clicking the save button or you can just click the auto save button which will save all these files in just a subdirectory right next to where you saved your project. So in this we're just going to click auto save and it saved everything. When you save a project, all the data objects and files are referenced via their path. So now let's say instead of you wanting to just save a file to open up on your local computer, what if you wanted to send this project to somebody else to open up on their computer where the paths are not the same? So Aviso provides another way to do this. So you can, re you can go up to here, go save project as, we're going to minimize the project size, and then we're going to click OK. And then instead of selecting this first one, we're going to select a Viso project and data files, pack and go option. And we're going to rename it to test project pack and go. This will make it so all files and everything else will be saved into one single directory that you can just send to other people so they can reopen the project. This is very useful for collaboration and archiving content for future use. So you could just click save and there you go. All right, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day.